you're considering using Ahrefs versus something like Google Analytics, there are a number of things to consider before you decide what's going to be the best fit for you. So let's talk through some details. That way you know what's going to be the best tool for your specific use case. Now, if you don't already have an Ahrefs account, it is a paid tool, so you'll need to get signed up and register and pay and everything. But once you do, you'll notice that there's always this search bar up here at the top. And you can take a website and put it in there and click search. When you do that, it's going to give you a breakdown of everything that's going on with that website. So you, well, at least on search engines. Uh, so you can see their paid traffic if they're running ads on Google Ads. You can see their organic search traffic, um, the number of keywords they're ranking for, how many backlinks the website has, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now this is extremely beneficial if you're trying to get data for a website that you do not own right in which case you can just put whatever website in here do a search and get a rough estimate of what's going on with the website but if a website if you were trying to get analytics data for a website and you actually own that website typically you're going to want to use google analytics because that's going to allow you to put a code a tracking code on the website and get live data from that website. So, you know, you can see how many users are coming in, where those users are coming in from, like whether they're coming from organic or referral or direct or social, what country they're visiting from, what pages they're visiting, tons of different stuff that is le like legitimate tracked data from your website. However, that is not going to be feasible in 100% of scenarios, right? There may be some where you don't own the website. And there may even be some situations where you just want to do like keyword research. So I just opened up the keyword explorer here. And we can do something like pellet grills, which is what the company sells that we're looking at the website for. If we look up pellet grills, we can see some of the top ranked companies here. Let's say we want to check out this one in particular, uh, Traeger. This is like a really big company in this space. We can take their URL, put it in here, and see what they have going on. And comparatively, they have a way higher domain rating and URL rating and a lot more backlinks, a lot more traffic, a lot more keywords that they rank for. They're also running a bunch of ads on Google Ads, it looks like. And immediately I can determine that this company is doing a lot more with their website, especially on the organic side, than the site we were just looking at. However, I can't go through and set up Google Analytics on Traeger.com because I don't own that website and I don't have access to put a tracking code on there. So I can use this tool, Ahrefs, to figure out what keywords they're ranking for. So I can click on the keywords right here. That's going to open up a report of all the different keywords that they're ranking for. We can export this, go through all the data, probably eliminate anything that has their business name in it, which is like a majority of these keywords. That's going to help us determine some keywords that this company is ranking for organically through SEO that we could try to rank for through our own website. We can then analyze their search, their paid search traffic, see what ads they're running, determine if it makes sense for us to be running some ads. And rather than starting from scratch, we can just look at what ads they're running, see what looks like it's doing well based on what's been running for an extended period of time and replicate what they're already using. Again, that's, a, that's something that you would not be able to do in Google Analytics, right? So Google Analytics is going to be more for tracking the live data of a site and it's going to be much more accurate and specific and give you metrics about the performance within the website and where people are coming in from, all that good stuff. Whereas Ahrefs is going to give us a more broad view of what's happening. It's going to allow us to see more so we can see like what's going on with uh, keywords, how many backlinks they have. You're not necessarily going to see backlinks in Google Analytics or like an authority score or anything like that. So ultimately there is overlap between the two platforms 
Ahrefs is great for com competitor research, checking out your competition, as well as doing keyword research or paid advertising research. And then Google Analytics is going to be more your hub for the specific performance of a website that you own and manage yourself. So I hope you found that helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of the difference between Ahrefs versus Google Analytics or anything of that nature, don't hesitate to reach out and just drop your questions in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? So that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade in one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm going to show you how to set up an SEO friendly business name right from the get go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> Best part is I'm going to show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably going to start charging for this at some point in the future. Alright, I'll see you on the other side.